the South, man. I'm from Birmingham, man. Yeah, it's- South, man. You know, South, we got some tension. We got our issues, you know. I talked to my uncle about it, you know, my uncle. First thing we need to do is get rid of the N-word. My uncle don't like the N-word. My uncle Derek hate the N-word. We're trying to, my, my uncle trying to quit the N-word the way people try to quit cigarettes a little bit at a time. It's a word. Ain't no cravings. Either you say it or you don't. My uncle be calling me every week with updates. I only said it four times. It's Now, Sunday's my cheat day because I watch football. I got to see it. Got to see it on Sunday. Grown man drop a first down. I got to call him the N-word. That's just what it is. And this is my thing with the N-word. Like, like at this point, black folks, like if we try to get stuff done politically in this country, we, 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 we inching. We doing, we inching, we inching. But at this point, I think it's time for us to schedule a meeting with gay people because gay people get way more shit done than us. Shut shit down. They want something to go away, it's gone. They don't fool around, man. Every week it's five, six new words you can't call gay people. Black folks, we've been working on the N-word since 1804. We can't get one word out the American vocabulary. Gay people have to tell you seven words. Got your issues over soup and salad. You can't even say gay no more. That's how good gay people are. The only word left to address gay people by. You better not fumble that word in the sentence. That's your ass. You use gay in the wrong context at work and see if you don't have to go talk to Sylvia and HR. HR be on your ass immediately. If you mumble gay one time the wrong way, you was by yourself when you said the shit, you still got in trouble. It's not like you was walking through the cubicles telling gay jokes. You was, you was in the break room. You was alone and your chips got stuck and you cussed. That don't mean you a bad person. You was just hungry. You say anything when you're hungry. Every man in this room, we've all been through it. Them chips get stuck at the top of the machine and you try to jostle the machine a little bit. Them chips don't fall, and nobody got change for a dollar, so you can buy two packs, so you gotta get change. Do the chips, you gay ass machine! Seal the alarm, too. Seal the Security to the break room, security to the break room. That's it, you gone, because you call some chips gay. But that's the power of the gay agenda. They figure out a way to influence the political process of this country to make sure that their issues are at least heard. Even if people don't get the bills passed, they at least listen to them. And that's what I'm trying to tell my uncle. You don't like the N-word, man. You want to get rid of the N-word. This is all you got to do. Start calling gay people niggas. Listen, I don't like it either, all right? But that's the best idea I got right now. At least that's what I'm going to teach my son. I'm a father figure. I got to show him the right way.